So I might have a solution to my flickering light problem. And that includes my Philips Hue smart bulbs. Hopefully the lights in the kitchen, the bathroom, the closet, and the bedroom. So let's dig in and see what we found out. So this is after uh, firmware version 7961 was released a week, week and a half ago. And I updated to that. Uh, you can see I made the video on how to update your firmware. And it did not fix my individual flickering light problem. And I, I wasn't sure why. And so James from Signature Solar asked that if anybody was having a uh, problem still to reach out to him directly and send him, you know, uh, any documentation, videos, kind of stuff, so that he can dig into it more. And I sent James some videos. The problem was you really couldn't see the flickering because it was, it was kind of faint. But yesterday, I went upstairs to eat lunch, and I opened up my refrigerator, and the incandescent bulbs inside the fridge were flickering. Let me see if I can put the clip in here and show you what was going on yesterday. It was a whole flickering a whole lot more than the LEDs did at night. Um, and then I've always had light in my office flickering. It just always has. And I, I assume that it was because the bulb was... Uh, at first, I assumed that it was because the bulb was uh, dimmed down to 25%. But even when I set it up to full, uh, it, it still flickered. And so I'll show you, you know, I've got the camera rolling on the light. I turned the light up to 100% so that it couldn't be said that it was due to the um, light being dimmed. And you can see the, the occasional, you know strobe, flicker, pulse, whatever you want to call it. And so I had sent the video of the refrigerator lights to James yesterday and, and we had a little back and forth. And he asked a question that I'd never really thought about testing. He asked if I turned everything else off except for the refrigerator, did it still flicker? And, and when it was flickering yesterday, it was, you know, Sunny outside, I was pulling in over a thousand watts of solar. Um, my loads were probably a couple hundred watts per phase, but I'd never thought about in my troubleshooting process to just go through and start flipping everything off and then slowly turn things back on one at a time. So that's what my wife and I did today. I turned everything off except for the fridge in that panel. And when we turned everything off except for the fridge, we still actually had a few loads running in the combiner panel. But for the most part, everything was turned off. Um, everything was turned off in this panel except for the fridge. And my wife had the fridge door open and it stopped. I thought, okay. And I thought, I'm going to slowly start going through and turning on every other set of breakers in the panel that correspond to the same phase that the fridge is on. So I started at the top, turn on the first two, and then, because all the power was turned off in this panel, the internet was down and we have no cell reception in our house. So when the internet's down, you can't make phone calls. So we were uh, reduced to two stomps for blinking, <laughs> I know, very scientific. Uh, and it didn't help that the kitchen is on the opposite side of the house too. So I'm listening for these faint stumps. And so, you know, I slowly started turning breakers on and I got halfway down the panel and I heard stomping. And I would, you know, do one breaker at a time. So I turn a breaker on, wait a few seconds, turn another breaker on, wait a few seconds. So I, like I said, I got halfway down the panel and then all of a sudden I heard stomping. So I went upstairs and she said, whatever one you just turned on, 
that one started causing the problem. So I started looking at, all right, which one did I just turn on? And it happened to be this uh, breaker right here, which is my office. And so I turned off the office breaker and I heard, was it two stomps? Or was it three stomps? I don't know. Whatever the stomp was to signify that there, the flickering had stopped in the fridge. So then I thought, okay, it's something in my office which is causing the flickering. So I turned that breaker back on. My office light came on. My office light was doing its little flickering thing too. And the laser printer kicked on. And I know when the laser printer kicks in, you know, there was there's typically some... Uh, some flickering that happens with it. So I decided to run a test and I unplugged the laser printer and the light didn't stop flickering. It kept doing it. And during this whole time we were having, I don't know, we haven't had a whole lot of solar coming in today, but it, it was still some. And it didn't change anything with unplugging the laser printer. So then I just started turning off surge protectors and waiting for the, the, the bang. So I turned off everything on the east wall and it was still flickering, which left me with one thing plugged in and we were still having flickering. And we're back to the dreaded UPSs again. I had unplugged this surge protector, which plugs in right there. So this UPS, which ironically is the only one that does not freak out when I'm on grid power. Every other UPS I have, I've got four of them in the office here. And three out of the four connect and disconnect, connect and disconnect, connect and disconnect the whole time. And it's, it's going to fry the UPS or destroy whatever's plugged into it. So I have to unplug all of them. So I've got one, two three boat anchors right now that I can't use. But this UPS was the last thing to unplug. All right, so for whatever reason, the flickering has diminished enough that it's hard to detect on the camera. So I started pulling a bunch of wires. That's why everything's all messed up right now. But, so this is the original setup that I had because I was moving stuff around so I had the surge protector plugged into the UPS. I know you're probably not supposed to do that. Um, and so like I said when my wife and I pulled this UPS and disconnected the UPS the flickering stopped. So that led me to believe that either the UPS is bad or something connected to the UPS. So I systematically started I. Uh, pulling one item at a time. I have two Macs, Mac Minis. Uh, this goes to my speakers and then this goes to my KVM. So I systematically started disconnecting the easy things, you know, the KVM, the speakers, and it didn't make any difference. I shut down this Mac Mini and disconnected this one uh, and it didn't make any difference, which left, uh, e again, either this Mac Mini, this power strip, or this UPS. So I disconnected the Mac Mini, plugged it in over here, and then pulled the UPS completely and got rid of the surge protector. And it was still happening. And I'm trying to figure out how in the world does a Mac Mini cause flickering lights? So then I started thinking, okay, let's, let's continue that systematic thought. So I came up to the Mac Mini, it's powered off, and I just started disconnecting everything but the power. So we've got KVM connections, we've got a network jack, and we have two USB-C uh, cables. So even going through and systematically unplugging uh, each connection in the back, I was still having the flickering problems on both my office light and the fridge, which leads me to believe that it's something in this Mac itself. So I had actually opened up the Mac, 
um, look to see if, you know, any loose connections, any anything that I could see that might have been grounding out on this metal case. Um, and, I mean, I saw what looked to be one rubber spacer that had worn down to where a metal contact was exposed. And I, I reattached that spacer, hoping that it might resolve something, but ultimately it, it doesn't. So everything's reconnected back the way it was, but the power issue seems to be coming from, from this for whatever reason. You know how hard it is to catch a faint flicker, <laughs> especially when you don't know the exact scenario that's causing it. You know the device, but not the exact scenario. So I'm hoping you can actually see the flicker on the camera. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug the UPS. And as soon as I unplug the UPS, the flickering stops. Now I had wired all this stuff back together because obviously I needed to use my computer um, last night. So I needed all the power from that. And I kept plugging and unplugging, so I needed it on the UPS. So if I plug it back in... And then it starts pulsing or flickering again. Faint, but it does it. So we'll pull this and for the time being, put it on grid power till I can figure out a solution. And as I said before, I, I had gone through and I had unplugged every single thing from that UPS and every single thing from the back of here. And when I powered this on, that's somehow introducing some kind of mum, uh, some hum fluctuation, something that's, that's causing the flickering in conjunction with what seems to be, I can't even say that it seems to be PV related because it does it at night. So I really don't know, but I can tell you for certain Unplugging this from my solar stops my continual flickering problem. So if anybody has any ideas as to why this computer is, is causing this problem, uh, please, by all means, let me know. Um, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, and I've got two Mac Minis, but only the one seems to be doing it as far as I can tell. I don't know, but right now I just have it uh, isolated to my grid connection. But for the time being, it does seem like I have been able to resolve the flickering issues. Uh, I will keep an eye on the various lights throughout the house and, and keep you posted if I notice one way or the other. Has it fixed all of the issues? Has it um, only resolve some. I mean, I know for sure my office lamp is not flickering anymore. And, you know, when you're sitting at your desk and you're trying to get work done and, and you got this flickering going on uh, out of the corner of your eye, it, it, it gets old. So hopefully this resolves the issues with all the lights upstairs that are on that same phase that I've been having issues with. But only time will tell. Now, when I say flickering, I mean a, a constant faint flicker. I'm not talking about a motor just turned on or, you know, the well kicked in or the furnace turned on and you get the on off pulse. I mean, you get that one second snap flicker, but that's it. It's not a continuous thing. I'm talking, my issue was specifically a constant faint flicker coming out of all the bulbs. So let me add real quick, if you're experiencing 
some kind of constant light flickering issue with your 6500 inverters and maybe even your 6000s. Assuming you're on or past the firmware version, which is supposed to resolve the flickering light issue, which in my case with the 6500s, I believe is 79.61. So if you're on or past that firmware version and still having these problems, I would highly recommend that you go through and do a circuit check on uh, your circuits as well. Whatever you're seeing is actually flickering, turn off all the other circuits and see if that light still flickers. And then slowly start turning circuits back on and you might find a culprit just like I did with this, this computer. Now what I need to do is I need to actually put the dimmer back in the kitchen and see if the dimmer works. That would be cool. Because we never liked running our kitchen lights because when I redid my kitchen, I put a lot of lights in. It's bright. And we always ran the, the kitchen at like 75% on the dimmer when we had grid power. So now I need to rewire that again and see if uh, we don't have this problem anymore. But I'm very thankful, very happy. Um, thank you again to James for you know, giving me that little kick because honestly, I should have done the circuit test to begin with. I really should have. But after talking with James and, and trying to figure out some of these flickering issues, he recommended, uh, you know, what happens when only the one circuit is running. And that gave me the kick that I needed. So again, thank you, James. I appreciate it. Uh, James from Signature Solar. And with that, I'm going to let you all go. Uh, I'm finally going to be able to work in my office without the light flickering in, in the corner of my eye. <laughs> I'm not going to have that, that, that twitch. <laughs> all right. Y'all stay safe, stay warm, and we'll catch up with you later.